watching the smartest thief in history, like one one hundred nine million in just twenty seven seconds. That's kind of absurd. How every split second counts. Thieves can be incredibly sophisticated and sometimes pull off million dollar robberies within the blink of an eye. Taking that's a crazy. But... Tour of famous heists around the globe. Here are some of the fastest thefts in history. Dubai. Our first stop is in Dubai in a brazen yeah. heist that took them only one hundred seventy seconds. What you'll find. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before. I'll keep going in this video. I need to adjust my webcam. That's good. Most robberies on the list is that the fastest high profile thefts involve jewelry. To rob a bank, there are various barriers and security measures put in place. So like for jewelry, can you just like walk right in, grab it, and then go right out? Basically, seven shoppers at Wafi Mall in Dubai witnessed something from a Hollywood movie, and the chain of events could only be fully understood when looking back on the CCTV camera. Let's see what happens. Drives through the glass windows of the mall while another vehicle follows. What the hell? Towards a jewelry store, one car stops, and a man with a gun comes out and checks the surroundings. The other car then barges into the door of a graph jewelry store carrying a gun. So they're just driving through, they just don't care. Hey. And they just take it. Damn! The gang had come and gone within the space of 170 seconds. It was 100 seconds. The cars they used were stolen too. The gun he was carrying turned out to be fake and was used as a way to scare people off. Oh. So would it still be counted as armed robbery if they got caught? I don't know. So they're just rampaging. This heist, along with others on this list, is believed to be perpetrated by a gang of jewelry thieves known as the Pink Panthers, named after the Pink Panther comedy. <laughs> the Pink Panthers is crazy, bro. I used to watch that. I actually used to watch that. Not that. They are much more bloody and ruthless than those portrayed in the movies. Let's just say there's nothing to be laughed at when these guys are at work. Yeah. That's good. Two stolen Audis. The group had rented a more modest Nissan Sunny for their getaway, and the Emirati police found the jewelry in this car. It was until 2014 that a third suspect was found. He was arrested by the Spanish authorities. So was he just ch like how long? So wait a minute, what time did it? What time frame? Modest Nissan Sunny for their getaway, and mm -hmm. the Emirati police found the jewelry in this car. It was until 2014 that a third suspect was found. He was arrested by the Spanish authorities and then handed Damn. to the UAE in 2015. And to rub further salt in their wounds, their heist car is now on display at the Dubai Police Museum. Okay, I thought, I thought that the heist car was in the same mall that they just busted into. <laughs> I thought, I thought they just put it in there. Genius work in cracking the case, but despite the speedy cars, raids, and getaways, this is the slowest theft on our list. Here's where things get a bit faster. Let's see. London. Our next heist takes us to merry old England. And funnily enough, to another Graf Diamond store on New York Street. At 4.40 p.m., two men dressed in suits walked in. Yeah. As customers. While they did not wear any masks, this is not actually what they look like. Before the robbery, they told makeup artists that they... Ah, so they used makeup to just change their appearance so they couldn't... I feel like that's not too stupid, but, like, they're still dumb for stealing. Uh. ...making a music video and needed their appearance completely altered. The okay. My own mother wouldn't recognize me now. To which the other replied, That's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? Once inside, yeah. they pulled out handguns and ordered the staff to get down on the floor. Then they forced the shop assistant, Petra Amar, to open the display cabinets. It took so they just robbed them once they got on. I'm mean, basically, that's what happened. And two minutes to collect $65 million worth of. Damn! 65 mil in two minutes. Total value of around 40 million pounds. However, whenever they say 40 million pounds, right, I think of the um, American <laughs> measuring unit. Like, I think they're just like 40 million pounds, but nah. 
they're so recognizable that they would have to be broken up, which would dramatically reduce their value. Ah. The gunmen were well aware that police could be waiting. Ah, so they need to um, split up them, so they have to sell them individually, which makes them worth less. So in Britain, do they just like have just like a blade that they just carry around slicing up criminals? <laughs> They don't, they don't even got guns. They just, they're just going for it. Keep the police off their scent. However, the fact that they were constantly moving from one vehicle to the other led to one of them losing their phone in one of the cars. Oh. Mistake and led to them being caught by the old oh, they all got caught because one dropped their phone. That's why you don't steal. Because you can just get caught by just dropping your phone. You're done. All your personal information's on there. You're done. You're cooked. All that work. You're done. That's they all got wait so none of the jewelry and it's unlikely that the criminals will ever divulge this information mm. our next heist takes us to Tacoma Washington in what was one of the fastest bank robberies of all time at one point the criminal I'm about to discuss was an American hero Luke Elliott summer served time in the US Army mm, he was an arm he ended up using his military training to hold up a bank summer grew up in British Columbia Canada but holds dual citizenship with Canada and the US he joined the US Army when he was Oh, so he, okay, so then he joined the army, and then after he got out of the army, he decided, hey, let's go rob a bank. Just 17 in 2003, the very year that America led its invasion of Iraq. A year later, Summer spent time in Baghdad, and in 2005, he spent time in Afghanistan. When returning Afghanistan. He recruited people to join his training camp. On August 7, 2006, four men charged into a Tacoma branch of Bank of America carrying weapons. It was organized to every last detail. Two of the men were holding Damn. guns and were responsible for getting hold of the money. The other two carried AK-47S and were guarding the bank from outside. They all Damn. Two and Four. The they just. Summer was one of the men with a handgun leading the charge. A prosecutor of the Did they look that goofy? My fault. Luke Summer planned to go to war. The robbers were armed for combat. Summer continued shouting orders at the tellers to hand over the money, while one of the men guarding the entrance shouted out how much time had elapsed. Summer Damn. Summer ordered the tellers to give them $1.20, $1.50, and $100 bills, and told them not to give any money with serial numbers or die packs that would be traceable. His ah. Collected the money, and when it hit the two minutes, how they know? The team's timekeeper shouted, let's go, and they fled the scene. They exited the bank with $54,011, taking them two minutes and 21 seconds. I feel like this this ain't even that much compared to the jewelry used military precision in this robbery but it was one fatal flaw that led them to being caught in 3 days time what is it in their getaway vehicle a bystander took down their license plate number and handed it over to the police the bandit <laughs> nah so just like so just like a random person decided you know what Let's just grab their license plate and just take it. Like, how do you just grab a license plate? You, you just have, like, you just, like, pry it off and then, damn. Forgot to get rid of this license plate, and this was traced back to the car of one of the gunmen. While the thieves I've spoken about earlier remained extremely tight-lipped when caught by the police, mm. this guy was a lot more cooperative. He spilled the beans on everything that happened. So he just knit everything. The bystander who foiled this plan may have prevented more than just one robbery. According to CTV News, Summer, then 20 years old, planned to use the proceeds of the robbery to start a criminal gang in BC that would rival the Hell's Angels. Hey, that dude did a lot of good by just randomly prying off a license plate. <laughs> Oh. Requested to make it look like murder, not an accident. 
Thankfully, the hitman he hired was an FBI informant, which slapped okay. another 20 years. Okay. Damn. Another? He just got another 20 years. Just damn. He, he's cooked. Hong Kong. Our next Let's see. Takes us across to the far east in Hong Kong, where three million dollars worth of jewelry was taken in 90 seconds. In the popular Tsim Sha Tsui Three million dollars in 90 seconds? That's a million dollars every 30 seconds. That's great. And they all just took it. I feel like they're just gonna get damaged, but Swiss made luxury watches and thirty nine American made bracelets with a total estimated value of twenty three point five. Wait, okay, that's Hong Kong. Thirty three million USD, okay. The culprits were simply armed with a knife and a retractable baton. So the British strategy was injured badly by the baton and had to be taken to hospital after the robbery. Damn. Okay, so then they got Ah. Uh, uh, In Mar so. so they just no one was able to find the car so they were able to do this so exactly like a lot of planning damn And then they dip that. Into mainland China. Two of the men are believed to be Chinese and could mm -hmm. be fluent Cantonese. The other robber was of South Asian descent. Arrests were made weeks after the heist. All we three men were believed to be caught by police, and a girlfriend of one of the men also turned herself in for her involvement too. However, they will always get caught. Wait, 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 wait. What did they say? Two. However, the stolen goods have not been recovered. How do they always never get recovered? Is there like a bigger plan to like just get it and then the other people just are supposed to get arrested? The Pink Panthers, bro. Why are they called that? For what per <laughs> Like that's just such a funny name. I guess. To put this to the test and rob a Saudi prince. On a, quiet Sunday a Saudi day, prince? PM, prince Abdul Aziz bin Fahd left the Four Seasons George V, one of the most Damn. expensive hotels in all of Paris. A premier room at this place will cost you nearly $2,200 a night. Having checked out, the Saudi prince was on his way to take his private plane at Le Bourget Airport, but would be interrupted along the way. As a royal he got player, robbed? He did not travel alone and traveled in a convoy alongside security. Then how did they get robbed? If he... Okay. Eight. Okay. They were prepared. They made off with a briefcase. This Saudi prince had a briefcase stuffed with two hundred fifty thousand euros. Why? Why? No, no, no. Like why though? They also took luxury watches and secret documents. You know what's crazy? That did not leave a scratch on their wealth. That's the craziest part. They did not need that. Like they have billions more just because of oil. For the prosecutor's office in Paris, told news outlets the assailants blocked the car with two vehicles and asked the occupiers to get out of the car. Then they took the car and drove away. It took them a few dozen seconds to do. A few dozen. There is no exact timestamp on this. Why is the squid game? That's with it. Like ten seconds, twenty seconds. How did they know that the Saudi prince was carrying a suitcase full of cash? And secondly, how did they know? To know the exact route that he would be taking from his hotel to the airport, Foriat said it was led by criminals who seemed to know that there was money to steal and eventually knew in which car they would find it. Mm. If somebody has been robbed of their possession, our first instinct is to feel sympathetic toward them. However, the French public were not exactly shedding tears. Oh, the Saudi prince hold up. Himself short of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. The prince had just finished a two-month vacation in Paris and was known for leading a lush and lavish lifestyle. Exactly, I just said this. That 250k? 
did not leave a single scratch on the well. They 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 did not need that. Exactly. They did not care. The Pink Panthers. Quickly and professionally, certainly points to this. New Jersey. In New Jersey, we have not only one of the fastest robberies ever committed, but one of the biggest teams involved too. Birani Jewelers, a jewelry store in New Jersey, found itself suddenly swarmed by a total of eight gunmen. One Hold up, I need to check something. This happened in June 2022. So, so still broad daylight at that hour. In okay. One minute, eight of the thieves one minute. smashed the glass and stashed jewelry in their bags. It's clear that these people knew what they were doing and did not hang around for long. They took what's believed to be one million dollars worth of jewelry. Oh. This is Little India. It is known as a major jewelry market. People come here from well beyond New Jersey, but tonight many in this neighborhood are shaken as police hunt that group of suspects damn Little india specializes in indian jewelry and is a popular shopping district for the south asian community so south, south asia Asian, and east coast according to fox news the region attracts south asian customers from maine to maryland there are at least 10 to 15 other jewelry stores in the area so it's a mystery why they chose this store and not the okay so it's just like so basically, they just had a random store, or it might have been random. Miss Barchaudry witnessed the crime and said how comfortable and confident they were. They came in like they owned the store. They're like, all right, everybody down, breaking mm. stuff, filling up their Damn. bags, walking away like they had no worries in the world. Thankfully, the only damage caused was to the property at the store. Okay. No serious injuries reported. Britain That's good. That's good. But it's still. Tonight. They plan to get together and meet with the mayor come Thursday, Brittany, to talk about safety. This robbery happened over a year ago, and there have been no further updates on who the cops Wait. are and where the one million. They all got away. Gone too. It is not understood which gang or operation they were they involved all... with, but this seemed like a very professional job. Damn, they are just gone. This robbery occurred in the city of Tokyo, a place which okay, is Japan. a stage home to the Comtesse de Vendôme, which is one of the most expensive necklaces in the world. The jewelry piece is composed of 116 diamonds. Damn, okay. The centerpiece, 125 carat diamond, and is believed to be worth 31 million dollars. Damn, that's a lot. Nobody knows where this thing is. On March 5th, 2004, the Tokyo 2004, Jewelry okay. the Supra Diamant Couture de Maki had some unexpected visitors, according to police reports. The robbery involved two men and two women. The men two men, okay. To carry out the heist while the women were on the lookout. Daughter mm, they're looking okay. Many times and posed as an eager customer. He was even shown the Comtesse de Vendôme by one of the staff who believed that they could have their biggest ever sale coming soon at the store. <laughs> so the staff thought that they were there to unbuy it. And then they were like, let's go. We're about to sell it. And, they just, and then they just wiped it. Returned another day at 11.46 a.m. Except this time he was accompanied by his friend, Alexander Radulovich. Radulovich had a pen mm. and paper and looked to be writing something down. But he suddenly immobilized the clerk with pepper spray. Meanwhile, with pepper? Master Hold on. Radulovich broke the glass containing the Comtesse de Vendôme and snatched it for himself. Then both yep, they just wiped it. Hold up. Something down, but he suddenly immobilized the clerk with pepper spray. Meanwhile, Rasovich broke the glass containing the Comtesse de Vendôme and snatched it for himself. So they pepper sprayed him and grabbed it. That's men that's not it. The store and fled on motorcycles. The whole thing lasted less than forty seconds. Forty? So they just. Tokyo for a night. So they just went in forty seconds. Windows. So they just went in twenty seconds. We're out twenty seconds. 40 seconds and how much was it? Before fleeing the country under 31 million? And they fleed it? The next day, they boarded a plane for Paris and were thousands of miles away from the scene of the crime. The Japanese... That's crazy. ...into finding the culprits to the extent that they had 100 investigators working on it. Two years later, two Serbian men were jailed in connection with the robbery. Mm. However, they refused to let the police know where the necklace is hidden or who they were working for. Rasovich even testified that it was an inside job and it was used to collect $100,000 worth of insurance money, something insurance. the authorities have refused to believe. One of the most surprising aspects of the crime is one of the women involved. Since 
the heist, Dorothy Fasola has been living in Scotland and working for as a fish trader. In Aberdeen, she was known as a fiat driving seafood exporter. Who drove yeah. The on the other Ooh, side of the there? world, she is believed to be the mastermind of one of the greatest robberies to ever take place in Oh, Canada. so she she's. Through jewelry she was shops in Tokyo days before the heist. Days before. So they think she looked in them and then the. And then the robbers came in and they took it. Okay. Members of the gang were in charge of the dirty jobs, but the real person behind the whole operation was Fasola. She was very ah. good at covering her tracks. It was only thanks to security cameras that Japanese police have been able to trace her and to figure out the identity. And they got of the traced back. Fasola was extradited to Italy for a different robbery, but released in 2011. Different. Ultimately, okay. The necklace has never been seen since. Never been seen again. It's crazy. Still out there. While these thieves were in Tokyo, they used their hotel phone to make calls to Sri Lanka and people suspected oh, no. that the necklace was sold through the black market. By now, mm -hmm. it's more than likely that the precious diamonds on this necklace were recut and resold. Brooklyn. Oh, so, okay. Brooklyn, let's see. Store in Brooklyn, $2 million worth of jewelry was taken in 38 seconds. 30, okay, so it keeps going down. Gunmen raided Facets Jewelry in Park Slope, Brooklyn. They threatened to shoot a worker while smashing the cases and looting the place of its... Damn, they just looted it. According to the store owner, Irina Soule, the guy reaches into his pocket and pulls out a hammer. I didn't even understand how a hammer could fit in there. And he says, and this is how you use a hammer. He smashed three... And this is how you use a hammer. How does... How does... Somebody just pull out a hammer out their pocket, like men's pockets have very deep holes. Each of the three men had their own specific job. One man worked with the hammer, while another had a bag filled with jewelry. The third person, meanwhile, operated as a this camera footage is is kind of. They took two and a half full cases of diamond engagement two and a newer pieces we've designed in house and pieces we've collected. Okay. And Edwardian rings, but obviously it was less about the jewels they were taking and more about the danger she and her staff found themselves in. Honestly. Okay, so they did not. I couldn't even talk yesterday. I was hyperventilating, crying, sobbing, and shaking. Of course they. Had put plenty of preparation into the heist. They knew exactly what cases to take from. Yeah. They took the big ten then... items. The guy holding the door yelled, "What the f are you doing? Don't f move! I'm going to shoot." I would be terrified though. Like I, I am not surprised that um they are very scared because that is crazy. Uh, and that's when I was like, okay, you know, we're not moving. Yeah, and basically, I'm just know, like. Just the situation touches upon something high-end jewelers face on almost a daily basis. For a lot of these stores, you cannot simply walk in and be buzzed in by the staff. One of them yeah, was yeah. buzzed in while the other hid behind. She did not want to deny him access to the store and let him straight in. A lot of jewelers will have to literally judge someone by their appearance Basically. decide to not let them into their store. Sule said, I always like... What is young Youngblood watching? Yeah, I decided to react to this, so... Just because... It seems interesting to give people the benefit of the doubt. It's difficult. You try not to racially profile anyone and not be judgmental or discriminatory. Since then, nah, has been I feel like opening the door up for anybody. I'm they've so been noted. I'm not even opening the door to my loyal clients. That's so crazy. I even recognize who they are and I won't let them in. The store said that they will be hiring a security guard and increasing its security measures as a result of this robbery. This happened in January 2023 and nobody has been charged yet. So presumably, police are still active. So they're all not. Can Cannes in the south of France is world renowned for its annual film festival. And in 2013, the Carlton Hotel experienced something straight out of a Hollywood film script. As this news report explains, it was a case of life imitating art. And how art. Is this a brazen daylight multi million dollar. It's just like a random in the very hotel painting that's worth. Riviera that was the setting for a movie about a brazen jewel thief played by Cary Grant. It was Wait, so they robbed it? in a setting for the <laughs> so they were about to make a movie about a jewel thief and then the, and then the jewels got stolen it was a special that, that's got to that's kind of good though carlton hotel on the french riviera is a favorite haunt of the rich and fabulously famous which makes it a good place to exhibit diamonds and turns out not a bad place to steal them either. The exhibition okay. was organized by the Leviev Diamond House, owned by Israeli billionaire Lev Leviev. Billion? The okay. Were loading the necklaces, the thief pulled off a speedy snatch and grab. He walked in with a gun and a How many seconds? His face, and the staff simply had no other option but to hand it over. He did this all in the space. The boat showed the flash? 27 seconds. Across a beautiful and busy seafront promenade. 
All the thief had to do then was simply blend in with the massive crowd outside. John O'Connor, a former head of the British police force, was almost full of praise about the criminal when speaking to CBS. Full of praise? A classic way of getting away with it. Blend into the crowd. So he was, um, piece of, uh, of utterly glazing him, apparently. Easy robbery. Initially, the Carlton thought that the thief took 40 million euro worth of jewels, which is equivalent to about 43 million dollars. However, they realized later on that it was 100 million euro worth of jewels. The Wait, 100? Or 109 million dollars. One French. Damn! Damn. The Guardian, Thieves see can as rich pickings. A full and urgent operation is underway to catch the culprit and recover these jewels. Another yeah. police officer told the Nice Matin newspaper, the raid took place in broad daylight at a time when hundreds of tourists were enjoying the sunshine. It could not have been more daring. The thief took a I, they the were the confident. Sunday, and the atmosphere was relaxed. As you can imagine, the thief is suspected to be a member of the Pink Panthers. And the the Pink the Panthers. Panthers. They need to change that goofy ass name. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like that name. I don't want no beef with them, robberies. but. Some even believe that it could be connected to thieves from the gang who escaped a Swiss jail that Thursday. On July mm. 25th, Milan Popperick was freed after fellow gang members rammed a gate and overcame security with AK-47. Literally, the Pink Panthers is crazy. The Pink Panther to break out of a Swiss jail in 2013. Ten days after the robbery, loss adjusters offered $1.3 million, million dollar information leading to the recovery of the stolen items. Who's gonna snitch? Released images Nobody. Of of the stolen jewelry, but they have not heard a dicky bird since. Hong a dicky bird. Where's this dude? Part two? Another robbery in Hong Kong? Of Hong Kong? It was possibly the fastest amount of money a thief could possibly make, where they accumulated $3 million in just 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Targeted Chow Sang Sang jewelry, which is also that is 30... Th no, 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 no. That is $300,000 a second. That's absurd. Situated in the Simshard Sui district. That's just in. Oh. They did not even have to step foot inside the store to make the robbery. Expensive jewelry was on display by the window, and two thieves decided to take sledgehammers, smash the windows, and take all of the items in a bag. A third person was working with them and allowed them to flee on a motorbike. So Police three people then said, that. The stolen property includes a diamond necklace, jade earrings, a diamond bracelet, and diamond rings. They were both wearing face masks and hats, but the police concluded that they were not ethnically Chinese. Ultimately, they were done and dusted in the space of 10 seconds 10 seconds 3 million okay the police, the police may not have even picked up the phone by the time they were still there nine pieces of so he called the police and they were long gone that's actually tragic jewelry was snatched in total apparently they left an empty suitcase and a paper bag at the scene which could prove useful for fingerprints mm. in september of that year so they weren't wearing gloves through kowloon park and noticed something sparkling in ground it was a diamond ring she assumed it was fake and picked it up however when she got back to work she realized that this diamond was found only 150 meters away from a jewelry store that was recently robbed she oh i mean and then she reported it. it was a normal reaction to report it to the police and said her find was nothing worth reporting she worked as a cleaner so this piece of Wait. jewelry could have been life-changing for her and thankfully the jewelry store did send her some gifts as a way of saying thank you 